Hello, this week I'm going to show you the second prototype of the solar-powered cell phone charging hat. So I've taken it out here on this rather blustery, cloudy day to demonstrate that yes, it really does work even when it's cloudy. And I apologize for the somewhat poor quality of the video. Unfortunately, the regular equipment that I use for filming was not available this week, so I was stuck using this uh, cell phone. Okay, so back to the prototype itself. This model has double the surface area of the solar cells that the previous one did. And uh, you can see that they're arranged in different locations. Some are on the top, some are on the side, there's one on the bill. The point of that is that it's going to catch at least some light, regardless of what the angle to the sun is. I noticed previously that it was highly dependent on how exactly you were holding your head, and that was no good. Um, also, this is much more efficient than the previous one. Uh, the voltage converters in this are probably, let's see, I guess they're about twice as efficient, something like that. And you can see it's a little rough around the edges, uh, but it's a prototype. It's supposed to look like that. Otherwise, uh, the model is basically the same. It's got the USB connector in the back there, just a standard USB connector, works with most devices. And in fact, I've got this connected to an iPad. I do own an iPad. I sadly don't have an iPhone that I could easily test this with. But on the iPad, I don't know if you can see it, uh, but it is indeed charging this iPad. This iPad is completely dead, yet it is charging it even on an overcast day. Now, one important thing, it has to be off in order for it to be charged. And that's true even when it's sunny. So when you have really power-hungry devices, it just can't handle both charging the battery and keeping the device running. So you have to turn the device off in order to charge it. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed is if it's already mostly charged, like above, say, 80% charged, it can maintain it even while it's on. But it's when the battery gets low that it starts drawing too much power. Uh, so either you have to maintain a high battery or you have to turn off the device in order to charge certain high-power devices. The other high-power device I have is this Nokia 1020 with a 41 megapixel camera. Yes, I said that correctly. 41, not 4.1. This thing also uses a lot of juice. And you can see in the top right-hand corner of the phone that it is indeed charging. And you'll note the battery is already mostly charged. So it's able to sustain that easily, even with it overcast like this. Now once again, if this phone was almost dead, it could not charge it while it was on. It would have to be off in order to charge it. And that's probably going to remain true. I'm getting pretty much as much power out of this as I possibly can. My efficiency on the regulators is now very good. Uh, and pretty much every square inch of this thing is covered with panels and it, it's still not quite enough uh, for the really power hungry devices but I'm content it will sustain it it will charge it if you turn it off that's good enough now the other thing you might notice on this is it has this uh, logo on the front I made that logo um, it's uh, supposed to be a uh, blimp UAV with wings on it and, and the whole angels of mercy thing uh, I didn't come up with that name, I think it's a great name, uh, but uh, I did come up with that logo. But yeah, there you have it. So second prototype, more power, more works with more devices in more conditions.